In my coaching program, I got a, cost, a, 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 a concept called the black tie effect. Oh, I wish I had more time. It's called the black tie effect. If you don't own your own tuxedo and go to at least six to 10 black tie events in your market, you suck. There's no better way for you to distinguish yourself as a top business leader in your area than to go to black tie events. I didn't say fundraiser, black tie events attract the top businessmen in your area. And what happens at a black tie event? You sit at a table and in America we ask two questions. What are those two questions? What is your name? And what do you do? What is your name? And what do you do? What would happen in your local marketplace? You became known as a philanthropist. What would happen in your local marketplace? You were known as being charitable. What would happen in your local marketplace if all the other business owners who are highly successful not only know your company, but they know you personally? Can I ask you a question? How many black tie events do you go to? When I stopped playing basketball, I had no money coming in. And all I would do is go to black tie events and be around highly successful people. And I would sit at the table. They would ask me my name. The second question I was waiting for. But what do you do? Well, I'm a former NBA player, but now I'm a motivational speaker. And at those black tie events, you know, they attract not only successful business people, they attract the good guys too. See, snake business guys who only care about money, they don't go to black tie events. People who go to black tie events care about their community. People who go to black tie events make a difference in their community. Let me tell you something. I noticed right away at the black tie events, these were the successful people that I wanted to know. And I began to build leverage. I began to build a brand by building relationships with the top business people in my community because I was willing to go to black tie events. There's nothing more important you can do, business owner, than to buy you a tuxedo and go to black tie events because everybody in the building is going to ask you your name and they're going to ask you what you do. What would happen if your company became endeared to some charity in your community? Ladies, what better way is it to build the culture? Some of you wives, why don't you drive this? He's busy trying to make money. You drive the charity. You found the organization. And you make sure that your company is synonymous with some philanthropic area in the community. There's nothing better than changing a the life. There's nothing better than blessing somebody who's less fortunate. I made a commitment of lifting the spirit of people who were trying to get to that next level. Start your business with charity. There's no better methodology than that.